one of the things that we really wanted to do when we were putting together today's program was to make sure that we did hear from people with a variety of experiences. Not everybody is, you know, wanting to use necessarily things that are high tech and the, the far end of technology, the technology spectrum. I'm going to bring on now Amin Zayani, who is going to share his stories. Amin is an incredible, incredible person in the diabetes community who I have been very fortunate to know for a number of years. He is an entrepreneur. He is incredibly smart. And I say that all the time. And I know that he 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 does like it when I say that, but I genuinely do mean it. <laughs> I know, I mean, I know. And he's going to talk about his experiences and what it is that he has chosen to use and why. So, I mean, take it away, please. Yeah, sure. Thank you for these kind words and thank you for having me. Uh, yeah, uh, thank you for having me here. I'm the guy who still uses insulin pens. Uh, probably many of you know me as the guy who used to do MedAngel, so very obsessed about temperature and insulin and properly storing it and so on. Um, I'm working on a new project in the same space, uh, which you will probably hear about very soon. But today I'm here to talk about why I still use insulin pens. So I was born and raised in Tunisia um, and I had my diabetes diagnosis 17 years ago. Um, I started using uh, syringes and vials and then I moved to Germany 14, day, 14 years ago and started to get uh, one of the best possible cares uh, for diabetes in the world. And so uh, in my 16 years of living with diabetes, I, um, 17 years of living with diabetes, I had a few key moments. One of them was switching from syringes and vials to pens was an amazing, amazing moment. It was, um, it hurt less. It was more convenient. I could just throw them in my bag and go with them anywhere. So I was like, wow, this is amazing. And one of the uh, moments when I realized that insulin pens are a huge improvement over vials is one day a few years ago, I had to take an injection because I ran out of needles and it hurt so much. So uh, insulin pens was a big, big moment for me. The second moment for me was uh, starting to use CGM. I, the first couple of weeks I started to use, it was a flash uh, sensor. And then now I have CGM. I was like, whoa, whoa, this is, this is what happens in my body when I do this or eat that or when I'm stressed or this is what happens at night. So it was a crazy, crazy moment. Um, and uh, I still use uh, CGM and pens, even though I have access to any pump, um, any hybrid system, closed loop system, you name it. In fact, every time I go to my uh, appointments, my doctor tries to convince me and she says, you can get anyone. You can have this pump or that pump. Look how shiny they are. Look at this one. It doesn't have a tube. And I still prefer to uh, use the pens. And I prefer to use the pens uh, first because it's really practical and low tech. So anywhere I go, if I'm traveling for a long time or a short time, or if I'm leaving the house for just a couple of hours or a couple of days or weeks, all I need to take are the, pump, uh, are the pens. So no infusion sets, no applicators, no tubing, no reservoirs, no batteries. I just need to take my pens and a couple of needles and I'm good. Um, the second thing I, I, I like about them is that, um, well, it's I, I get to uh, decide the amount of insulin I inject and, and when. Uh, so I, I'm still not comfortable with the idea of a machine uh, um, giving me insulin, um, something very psychological, very irrational. I know a closed loop system will do it much better than I can. Um, and the third reason is because I, I don't just, I just don't like the idea of having a tubing like these Teflon tubes uh, and catheters. And uh, of course I know there are tubeless pumps, but yeah, I, I really enjoy the simplicity, the versatility, the uh, low tech aspect of pumps, uh, of pens. And uh, I don't think I will switch to a pump anytime soon, although sometimes when I wake up and see what happens in my sleep, 
and I see what others have in their sleep when they have these uh, very modern pumps, I think, hmm, maybe it's the time to do it. Uh, anyways, the third moment when uh, um, I also felt kind of a change um, or an improvement with my diabetes care was when the first connected pens came out. So the first one that was announced and was available in Europe was announced in 2018. Couldn't get it until a couple of weeks ago. Um, I was really excited. I thought, oh, this was going to be an inflection point like using a CGM was, but it turns out uh, it wasn't. So uh, the impact of using a connected pen for me is almost negligible. All I can see is uh, logged doses. So I can see, oh, I took this week uh, double the insulin I took last week. Um, but it really didn't change much in my life. And uh, uh, I feel like there is really a, um, a lot to, to be done in terms of uh, data and MDI, especially that most of the world, most of the people who live with type 1 and type 2 diabetes in the world will never get access to pumps. Pumps are really uh, expensive um, and no one, not everyone will get access to them. It's, it's really funny. One time I met a doctor from Tunisia and he this was years ago, and he said, like, do you know how many people use a pump in Tunisia? I was like, no. He's like, they're 36, and I'm treating four of them. So when it's not reimbursed and when they're not available and when you can't access have access to them, you really have the vials or the pens. I think the very vast majority of the world um, will not have uh, access to, to the most modern connected solutions. Uh, and so I really feel like MDI should get more investment in terms of research and development, uh, because that's really where the most impact will be. And uh, um, even though most of the research and the development goes into the closed loop systems, I really feel like uh, some of it should go to MDI. I was quite perplexed and confused. Why isn't this happening? And then I had a number of conversations with people who work on, let's say, looping with pens. And it turns out it's more difficult. It's harder to uh, do the algorithms, let's say, that let you loop or that give you assist as, uh, assistance with your decisions when you're using uh, a long acting and a short acting uh, insulin pen. And so I, I get that it's really, um, it's harder, even though it's counterintuitive, like how, how can it be harder? But yes, it is indeed harder. And so uh, that's it. I just wanted to share my, my experience with you. Um, I could have any pump, but I still uh, choose to, to, to use pens. And uh, um, that's pretty much it. Thank you. I mean, your choice. I think that, you know, your diabetes, your rules, your choice. I think that's really, really useful. Thank you so much for sharing your experience there. We have some really interesting comments here that I do just want to touch on. And we're, we've show, we are showing some as well at the bottom here. But so great to see technology for pens developing for those using MDI. And I think that that's absolutely true. I feel that there's been so much advancement when it's come to pumps and, and to those technologies. But so many people are using pens. And so having access to devices and, and knowing that there is you know more and more happening there is really useful and really really important there was another comment here from tom thank you for sharing your real life uh, your your lived experience um connected pens are amazing there's that comment there amazing for me and um are a bridge between disposable pens and pumps I love my smart insulin pens. Oh, we love to hear those stories. Thank you so much. I mean, I've got a million questions that I want to ask you, but I'm going to do that later on. But I will remind everybody, please do add questions into the comments and we will get to them. And yes, absolutely great to see all angles of technology being looked at. And I think that that's what we really wanted to highlight again tonight was, you know, along with that one size does not fit all, is that that means that we need to have choices when it comes to technology so that people are able to find what works best for them, which you have done. Well done, Amin. Thank you so, so much.